Hey guys, overall, you guys are doing a great job this week on percents. We are going to look at percents in the real world one more time because I feel like some of us need the extra practice. Next week, you will have a concept check on percents. So please make sure you're watching this. You may want to get a piece of notebook paper and pencil and write down because that will help you solve the problems on the actual slides in the, next, in the upcoming problems. Okay, so first we're gonna tackle taxes. So as you probably have noticed, it looks exactly like your slide. We are gonna do an example for each of these together before you do one on your own. So every time you buy an item at the store, you pay taxes on that item. Mark decides to buy a bag of Flaming Cheetos for $3. Complete the blanks to find the total cost Mark pays. We are rounding the cost of taxes to 10% because in Bentonville, it's about 9.5%. Okay, so if 100% represents $3, 100% is the total cost of an item. We need to go down to 10%. So if we're going down, we're dividing, and we would be dividing by 10. So that means I would need to do the same thing for the $3. I would have to divide it by 10. And $3 divided by 10 is going to be 30 cents. And you can use a calculator for this practice. Um, I see a lot of us um, lately... When you guys, I saw a lot of you miss this on the unit rate concept check. When you saw this, you said that was three cents. Remember, there's two decimal places, so it's actually 30 cents. Three cents would look like this, okay, just so you're aware. So then you have to do the total cost plus the taxes. So I'm going to take my $3 plus the 30 cents, which gives me $3.30. Okay, this problem is your problem now. You are going to pick one of these items and you are gonna find how much it would cost with taxes. You are gonna fill in the blanks here. This would be your cost of the item. Remember that the cost is 100% of the cost and you're trying to find 10% of that cost. And then you're gonna add your cost plus the taxes to get your total. Okay, now you're gonna find the taxes, choose one of these Apple devices that you're gonna buy and find out how much you're gonna pay with taxes. Once again, remember, you can use a calculator. Okay, now let's take a look at tips. So also, this is one of your slides as well. So if you're watching the video, you're getting freebies. So when you go to a restaurant with a waiter or waitress, you leave a tip for them to say, thank you for taking care of us. And usually when you have a really good waiter, you should leave at least a 20% tip. Sometimes people leave 10 or 15 if the, um, the waiter isn't that great, but we're going to say our waiter was amazing, and we're going to leave a 20% tip. Okay, so if we know that $30 is the cost of the meal, that's 100% the cost of the meal. We are going to divide that down to 20%. So we have to think 100% divided by what would give me 20. One way you can think of this, if you don't know it off the top of your head, is count by 20s. 20 40, 60, 80, 100. That was 5. So 100% divided by 5 would give me 20. So then you're going to do 30 divided by 5, which gives me $6. Because we know 20% should be less than the 100%. If your lower percent is greater, then you did something wrong. Okay, now we're going to go figure out the total cost with the tip. So we have the $30 plus our $6 tip is going to give us $36. Okay, on this slide, you are getting to choose where are you gonna eat dinner at? Are you gonna eat at Bariola's? Are you gonna eat at El Poblito? Or are you gonna eat at Shogun's? And we'll say it's takeout since we're social distancing. And I did not forget my vegetarian option. You can have vegetable stir fry. You are gonna plug these numbers in by typing them in into each blank. The 100% is the cost of your meal, and you're going to find how much your tip should be, and then you're going to add it total together of how much you should be paying before you leave the restaurant. The last thing you are going to do is put this all together, because actually when you go to a restaurant, you have to pay taxes on your meal, and you still have to leave a tip. So we're going to do this example together. We went somewhere and had a $20 meal. So we're gonna find the tax, the tip, and then we're gonna find the total costs. Okay, so if we're at 100%, we talked about that earlier, to get down to 10%, we would divide by 10. 
So that means I would do 20 divided by 10, which we know is two. So my taxes is gonna be $2. Then I go over here to my tip, 100% down to 20%, divide by five. So then I do 20 divided by five, which is four. So then my tip is $4. So before I leave the restaurant, I'm gonna be paying $26 total. Okay, this is your last slide for you to do on your own. Do it exactly like we did the last problem. This time your meal is gonna cost you $65. Okay, if you've made it this far, great job everyone. Um, please, once you are finished with your Google slide, do not just exit. Hit the turn in button so I know that it is complete. Um, also, please check back if there's any comments that I've left for you to correct. Um, it'd be great if you make corrections. Yes, you. this is for a grade. I hear you asking. I see all those hands raised right now. Um, I will see you on Friday.